So this is going to be a little bit more complicated than your standard unwrap. Um, this is what we're aiming for. So we've got, um, got wood on the handle, metal for the axe head, and we've got this sort of leather binding for a handle there. We want to put IDs for each one of those on this axe that we've got here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to lay out the UVs once we've applied the material IDs. Okay, so let's get started on that. First of all, we're going to just delete that because we don't need it anymore. And it is a bit of a distraction. So first thing to do is set up our material ID. So we'll just park this over to the left there. Open up your material editor, which is this box up in your uh, bar at the top. Click on it and you should get this. Now, if you've got it looking like this, I mean, you can use it like that if you know how to use it like that, but I prefer the compact editor. It's much more intuitive. You don't really need to use the other one, not for what we're doing. So this is perfectly fine. So that's the uh, axe image that we created, that we just deleted, in fact. So just select one underneath. And over here where it says standard, click on that. And you get this option to change the material type, which is what we're doing here. Now you want multi sub object. Double click that. Discard the old material. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need it. So I'll click OK. OK, so all this is done now, basically. It's created one, you know, I've, I've explained what a multi sub material is in the in a previous lecture. So we have 10 IDs here, 10 sub materials in one one main material here. So we can set each one of these up like we can each one of these. So we're going to first, we only need three. So we're going to set our number to three. Click OK. So there's our three. We're going to call this main material axe because that's what it is and then we're gonna we're gonna click this assign material to selection obviously our axe axe is selected so just click assign like that it should go black or whatever color we've got it all set to okay so now we're gonna go through these the first one we're gonna do is the handle so we'll click that we're gonna select standard Double click that, click on the diffuse here. I'm going to change its color because it's wood. Just make it a brown color. I mean, all we're doing here is just setting some colors up so we can see. No, why is, oh, okay, so it's not set, that's fine. I thought, how did that get set? <laughs> it's obviously just got some weird IDs on there. Okay, so that's cool. So I'm going to call this wood like that. So we're going to select all of our wood on our object like this. Make sure you don't get any turn off soft selection. We don't want that. Just make sure none of this is selected and select the end here like this. I'm holding down control as I'm doing this, just for your reference. But you should know that already. Hold down control, control, and select all the wood. Okay, so that's all the wood selected. Yep, and then we're just going to click this button here, assign material to selection. Dink. Okay, now just, uh, this is, you can see what material ID we have by this little number here on the left hand side. Just scroll this down. Scroll your window up, I should say. Keep saying down. But we are going down the menu. Anyway, in which a set ID, put a number one, just press return. Just to be sure that we've got the, the uh, faces that are selected are set to set ID number one. Okay, that's cool. Now we're going to click on this button, little drop down here, go back to Axe. 
on the second one click that again click standard select diffuse again and the metal will just make a light sort of blue ish color just so we know what it is click OK and we're going to call this metal like that and we're going to we're going to invert this we're going to go to up here go to edit select invert Dunk, and you, your selection sh should invert just like that so you have all the metal selected and none of the wood and I just um, slip uh, click assign to selection like that just go down make sure actually that that's just just put number two in set ID like that and it will set it I'm not even sure if that's working quite right because it's a multi sub object so I'll just do that set ID number two uh, if we deselect you'll see now that we have our wood Go back select axe so we have wood and metal two colors and you can clearly see which is what there uh, now we're going to set this one up so put that uh, select standard and click the diffuse and we'll just make it a sort of a yellowy color or something something like that click ok now we need to select the faces so go up here make sure face is selected so that's all the faces we're going to have a cloth set to so again scroll back down in here type 3 and press return and don't forget to rename your material to cloth like that there we go that's it. I say you set up a material object and a material ID. So now, whenever we select one of those faces, you know, the ID will be set. Three, one, which is, so if we go back to our axle, one is wood. Yeah, that's correct. We select this. So it's two, two is metal. Yeah one of these three three is cloth so you can see how it works and what will happen now is when we export that into a, as an fbx to get it into substance substance will bring it in and recognize all of those uh, separate materials so it's pretty cool okay with that done just close that down and now we're gonna unwrap all right so if we Right, so an easy way to select these is to scroll down select make sure your face is selected scroll down till we come to select ID if we, this long box here with nothing in it if we just open that and you get the three materials even though it says no name I'm not entirely sure why it's done that but the first one is our wood the second one is our axe and the third one is our cloth so we can um, we can unwrap these UV map unwrap same drill as before uh, it already knows where the outer edges is because that's the edge of the selection so we don't need to define those we just have to define the split where we want it to split it so so select this uh, point to point like we did before and just go up the middle like that and let's try a quick peel and there it is uh, we can just make that whole thing fit in one see this bit of texture here is probably going to be quite small collapse that sorry first we collapse the stack like that now we select face again if it's not already yeah, face deselect that because we don't want that bit anymore scroll down to uh, 
here select your second one metal uh, select your metal Unwrap. And again, you'll see that it knows where the edges are around here, all the way around. So it knows where those edges are and where that is. So what we have to do is just define the extra edges that we want. I think just splitting it right in half should be enough. So if we do this point to point, like this, split it down there, like that. And we split it all the way down here. Not missed. Make sure you get the edge. That's it. And we take this all the way along this sharp edge here. Like this. All the way up. Yeah, up to there, all the way around, uh, from there to there. Okay, that should be enough, although this looks like it might need to be separated, this section in here, so we might have to come out and go around. Okay, we'll just see how that works. Quick peel. Okay, let's just have a look what that looks like. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. It's obviously peeled it quite well, although it looks a bit like in there. It's a bit wobbly. shadows off so I can see there you go yeah it's not quite it's not good in there is it I think it's gonna be fine like that and especially as I'm gonna make these much bigger now um, so we'll take these into position like this just bring them to the middle and select both of them just make that one there we go You know, it's not very efficient this I think what we might do I'm just showing you how to do this and I think what we might do is come back and redo it and merge all the UVs into one page so we can make it much more efficient I just want to show you how to set up a multi sub object I think we're going to do it for the uh, for the hut for sure um, but we can get away with this one not being uh, not being a multi uh, multi sub object. See, so look at this texture resolution of that compared to that. Something's not quite right. That's way too big. So we should go back into there. In fact, let's just do the handle and get them all done. And then we can change whatever we want to change afterwards. Um, so I select face, scroll down to three. Now we did three. Is it to one? Yep, yeah, to one. Okay, so we're gonna UV map that and unwrap it. 
Um, again, it knows where the ends are, but I think I'm going to have to define, separate this end piece. It knows that's an edge. It knows that's an edge. And I think I will split it and then go around the end. Okay, so let's do that. So we come to the edge and go round like this. There we go. So that's done that. Do we want to do that? I don't think we need to because it will just unpeel as one strip. But we do want, definitely want to go up here. So we select that. And we go up to there. We do this. And we go around here. It's hard to see with these colours. But it is working. You can sort of just see the colours there. I think that will do. Okay, so let's unpeel. There it is. Um, organize your, your pieces so they get much more efficient packing of them because that's not that great so two ends select it all again pack yeah, that's the best you're going to get I think for now but we'll come back I think like I said we're going to do this like this for now and then we'll come back and we'll do it and we'll pack all the UVs in one space. What we want to do now is just take a look at them and see what they're like. So I'll do that, do that. Okay, so the handle and the metal seem okay, but these are way too big. Um, so we need to change those collapse or yep Let's just select these just unwrap open the editor yeah massive you see compared to what these were okay so these took up a lot more space in the UV space than this little piece here. So we need to make this smaller. So this is exactly what, why it's such a waste. So I think just for now, we're going to make it correct. Because when we come back and we reorganize them, we know that they're all scaled correctly. that again and we just take this down until the squares are roughly the same size and then that means provided the textures are all the same size that will get applied to this object then this will be correct too even though it's only taken up a small oops a small portion of that space yeah, like I said, don't worry about all this emptiness. We'll we'll come back and fix it. And what we'll do is we'll just put the whole axe in one space. Um, because in PBR we don't need really need the IDs because we we can have a a metal and a non-metal. We can have a metal and a non-metal 
material in one set because we can define it using our um, using our roughness in our metal alpha if you remember okay so that's it collapse that that is the axe ready to roll and we'll do this we'll do the axe first because I just want to show you how this works in in um, substance painter after we've done the rest of the unwrapping of the other objects um, uh, we're going to do a tree next so this is quite a quite a interesting object so we'll um, we'll leave this like this and then come back and just reorganize apply different material to it reorganize our UVs. We don't have to unwrap it again. We just unwrap. We don't have to UV map it again. We just unwrap it and scale and move them around and then pack it down and save it and save it as one material rather than three separate ones. So that's it. So we save that and that's done. So I'll see you in the next lecture.